Okay, let's dig into that deep learning part first then, the alpha pipeline. Starting with data processing, what kind of data are we talking about? Oh, all sorts. Raw data, like numerical, quote, data candlestick charts, order books, or company fundamental data. The classic stuff. Right. But also relational data, like how companies or sectors are connected, think graphs. And then there's alternative data, like text, images. News, satellite images, things like that. Precisely. And even simulation data, which mm -hmm. is generated to test strategies. Deep learning can potentially work with all of these. But you don't just feed raw data straight in usually. You need features or factors. That's generally right. You derive these factors from the raw data. It's called factor mining or feature engineering, basically finding the signals that predict returns. How does deep learning help there? A couple of ways. Things like genetic programming can automatically discover sort of mathematical formulas for factors, symbolic factors. So you can kind of see the logic. Yeah, they're more interpretable. But then you also have techniques like encoder decoders that learn complex machine learning factors directly from the data. Less interpretable, maybe but potentially more powerful. That's the trade-off, exactly. Flexibility versus interpretability, though some advanced deep learning models are starting to work directly from raw data end-to-end. -end. 